hello everyone welcome for today's session today i'm going to explain optimization of pipe diameters for water supply system and at the end of this session i will demonstrate the quick method for determining pipe diameters of the distribution network so make sure to watch until the end to learn this useful technique first of all let us understand what is water distribution network this is a system of hydraulic elements which comprise pipes pumps valve tanks reservoir which are connected together to convey a given quantities of water from source to individual users in the required quantity quality and at the satisfactory pressure okay now what is optimization okay when we say optimization this is the action of making the best use of resource okay when you make the best use of the resource you are doing optimization but in designing of distribution system the term optimizations it aims at selection of a best element with regard to some criteria okay you set your criteria okay then you do optimization based on that criteria so you make the selection of the elements based on the set criteria that is optimization in design of distribution system but generally when we say optimization it means finding of optimal pipe diameter to supply adequate quantity of water at satisfactory pressure to the end users okay here we mean that when you are doing optimization you are making the best selection of pipe diameter okay which will supply the adequate quantity of water at satisfactory pressure to the end consumers okay <clears throat> now what is the need of optimization okay we say that the major portion of the capital cost of the project is the cost of pipes which is around 70% okay if you have a project the total cost 70% of that is the part which will be covered with pipes okay so the cost of pipe is more in the totality of the cost of the project okay now the pipes are very very important elements in the scheme of water supply okay so we say that the largest investment in the pipes used in the water distribution system okay because it takes more amount of cost okay more amount of money in the investment cost of this scheme okay also the design modeling and optimization of pipes in water supply system from economic point of view it is very very crucial okay here we mean that when you are doing optimal design okay you are making the best selection of the set selection of the pipes so that you are minimizing the cost okay that is the point of view point of view in the economy okay so the construction and the maintenance of pipeline for water supply costs many million of dollars every year okay because we are constructing a new project or we are developing a new water supply scheme and also we are maintaining those schemes every year and it costs many million of dollars okay as funds for the development of new infrastructure become increasing scarce okay it's becoming so scarce so there is an increase 
desire to achieve the highest level of effectiveness for each dollar spent okay when you are spending money okay you should spend it effectively okay so as to achieve the highest level of the effectiveness of the dollar that you spend okay now we say that uh, traditionally the design of water supply system or water distribution network has been based on experience here it means that the trial and error okay is used in the design okay so when you are using optimization you are removing or you are not doing the trial and error you are going to make a best design okay which you will minimize the cost of pipeline so when you are doing trial and error based on your experience in designing the wood supply system that it is not an effective way of designing the water supply scheme now if you are implementing okay if you implement a poor and an economic network designs okay you as engineer you may lose time resource and uh, money okay so don't implement poor design also there is genetic algorithm GA nowadays has been proven to be the one of the most successful optimization technique to handle the complexity of the pipeline design okay so GAB based optimizer that helps engineers and the modelers identify a pool of option solutions using hydraulic models okay when you are doing design you are creating your hydraulic models in the software okay so you as engineer or modelers this GA based optimizer it will helps you to make the best use of the solutions okay because when you use this GA based optimizer in the software you will create okay several solutions so through that you can go and select the best optimal solution okay so we say that what is the best or what is the objective of optimization okay the main objective of this optimization is to minimize the cost of proposed pipe network infrastructure okay this is the main or is the key objective of doing optimization many researchers have developed and studied different optimization technique to optimize the cost of pipeline ensuring that various hydraulic design constraints like pressure velocity and head loss gradients are satisfied okay so there is many techniques for doing optimization of pipeline okay so some of the network modeling software have a built-in facility of optimizer pool okay there is many softwares which has inbuilt tool of doing this optimization okay and uh, many engineers and the designers face difficult in understanding and using this tool while designing their project for pipeline optimization okay so if you are interested to learn more and understand how to use this tool optimizer tool i welcome you to the course okay of advanced level this tool of optimization it will comprise okay 
it will use hydraulic and economic concepts okay here these two concepts of hydraulic and economic are used to achieve the optimization objective okay which is to minimize the cost of a proposed pipe network infrastructure so please register on my advanced level course we will explore together this tool in network modeling software okay so i hope you have understood the concept of optimization so let us look here on the quick method of determining the pipe diameters of distribution network okay this one is the network of water distribution system and here we have this design constraints maximum velocity 2.5 meter per second and the minimum velocity 0.3 meter per second okay <clears throat> now how to do this kind of optimization okay flex table go to pipes okay here by default our diameter in inch it is 2 meter okay and the material which is hdp okay but uh, the velocity here it is this one okay as you see here this is a velocity okay so we want to make the best or quick method of determining these diameters okay how do we do it okay check here I select this one this one here I copy and then I paste it here okay here's a flow diameter in inch diameter in millimeter now here diameter in inch it is seven okay but here in this catalog of pipes there is no seven here inch okay so for optimal solution i will go for six inch okay i will put here six and then here six okay then i will copy this and then paste it here okay then compute okay check here velocity it is 1 1.1 1.2 1.8 0.9 0.5 0.3 5 6 1 1 and our design constraint is 2.5 maximum and 0.3 minimum so these velocities are within our design constraint so it is okay okay <coughs> 